Hey guys, it's Audra, and I'm here with a much anticipated, I'm sure, favorites video. So let's get started, shall we? I want to first talk about makeup because honestly of what I'm talking about, I feel like it might be the least exciting, but that's what we're, where we will start. I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon for my first two items I'm going to talk about because, well, I don't know. Um, this box blush from Benefit, Rocketeer, everybody was talking about it like what? Last fall, I think? Um, maybe even last spring, but I think last fall is when it came out. It's just a beautiful um, rosy pink color. Oh, look, you can't see that. That doesn't look like anything. Anyway, it's really pretty. I really like it. I think it's great for spraying. Um, I'm naturally kind of red already, but I think that this just gives me a nice, like, goldeny pink um, flush, and I really like it. So I've been tearing it up lately. The second thing that I am super behind on the train. Um, Sometimes I just can't splurge if I'm not sure. And this item for me personally is a splurge. Um, it is an ambient lighting powder. Look, I'm gonna reflect all the mess behind me. I mean behind the camera. Um, by Hourglass, this is retails for $45. And for a powder, I think like eek. But um, I have the one in diffused light, which is the yellow one. I did a lot of research before purchasing this. I knew I wanted to splurge on something and I had heard awesome things about this um, from a couple different YouTubers and thought, well, what the hey. So I definitely um, like bought into the hype. So I went out, I did my research, decided since I am a rosier skin toned girl that I would go with the yellow because it helps to cut some of that redness, which is nice. Um, much like it's on this finger you can't tell once again um, much like all the people I watch I can't really tell you what it does I just know that when I put this on my Instagram pictures look so much better and that's really all that matters uh, okay the last makeup item I have is um, was another like I'm gonna splurge on myself and it is a lipstick from YSL. These bad boys are beautiful, right? I mean, just the packaging is so like luxe and glam. I really like love them, but like, I'll tell you what, MAC lipstick is my favorite, hands down. There's so many color choices, they smell great. I just love them, so like, why not, right? But I, most of my lipsticks are MAC, I'm not even gonna lie. But I wanted to splurge. I'm wearing this today. Um, and I wanted to just get something that was really natural for me, something that I would wear a lot. And so I went with, uh, I mean, because if you're going to spend the money, get something you like. I went with number nine, the Rouge Volup Shine. And I love it. All right. Let's move on and not talk about makeup anymore. Hair care. I have talked about this product you heard me talk about it last week if you saw my empties video which if you have not seen it I will link it down below looking at my trash is so fun guys so fun um, that is the Kinrat Platinum blow dry spray um, uh, I can't tell you enough about this product okay well, let me tell you what it does and I'll tell you why I love it it is an advanced dry thermal protectant so you spray it on when your hair is wet, blow dry, straighten, curl, whatever your hair is going to protect it. I like that because um, I've got really fine hair, like I've got a lot of hair, but it's a very fine texture and because of that it get, can get weighed down really easily. So thermal protectants that you put on when you're dry just don't work for me. Like I will look like a greasy hot mess so fast with those. So that's why I love it. I get the heat protection that I need without having my hair weighed down. Also, it cuts down your blow dry time. My hair loves to hold water, 
and I hate it because it so, takes so long to get dry. This really helps, legitimately. I also use this in the, the salon, oh hi, um, in the salon, every client freaking love it. It is a little on the higher end price wise, I believe, um, I mean there are much more expensive hair care items for sure. But um, this one, this small size that I'm holding is 3.4 ounces and retails for $22. But I still have to have it. Alright, then I have a body care item. This is the Rose, okay, listen, I don't know this word. This is my C.O. Bigelow and Rose Salves, okay. Um, that word makes me highly uncomfortable. And, um, this is like a, a bomb. I mean, it's that word, salve. And I don't, I don't like that word. Um, so you just kind of smear it like where you're dry and stuff. And, um, I do my elbows. And it's wonderful. I do it at night. They feel so much better in the morning. End of discussion. Um, I've used a ton of it since purchase I didn't purchase it it was a gift the only thing I will say that I do not like is I find the odor the smell to be rather offensive it smells like if you have like a candle warmer or a scentsy and you burn all the smell out of it and then you're just smelling like burning wax that's what this stuff smells like and I just like I find it to be slightly offensive. Not like overly offensive, but slightly. Um, but as far as like the product itself, um, it's great. I love it. That's all. So let's move on to my little randomers. Um, my candle favorite of the year, of the year, uh huh, no, of the month is uh, this bad boy, which is um, the Honeysuckle Bouquet. It's my Bath and Body Works. It's one of their fresh, picked, simple, fresh, and good is what it says. Um, I, as you can see, have been burning a lot. And this is different colors because this wax is still hot because I literally just blew it out to show you. But I really like it. I smelled it at a friend's house and um, would not have, like, smelled it and picked it. But it smelled so good when she was burning it, so I copied her and took it. I mean, by my own. Okay, I have two fun food favorites for you. The first one is this original hummus. This is um, the Whole Foods Market brand. I believe they make this in store. I don't know. Maybe they don't, but it's their brand. Um, there you go. That's what it looks like. I have the big one. It is delicious. And last thing is this Musselman's Unsweetened Natural Applesauce. It's delicious. I will say don't put cinnamon on it. It's not good. It's not. I thought it would be, but it's not. Um, I think that this tastes just as good as like regular applesauce, but it's unsweetened, so it doesn't have the sugar in it. So I don't know. People may think I'm crazy, but... I like it. I honestly like the single serving cups, but they didn't have any at the store I was at, so I had to get that. Okay guys, that's all. That is my whatever month we were just in, April favorites. I will see you next month with May favorites, hopefully. Let me know if you have any video requests down in the comment sections. Any questions, concerns, anything like that, post them down below and I'll be sure to reply. If you haven't, please take the time to subscribe. I would love you to be part of this. I want to get to know you and interact with you. So subscribe. Also, if you like vlog channels, don't forget to look over at Married Okies. That's my husband and I's vlog channel. There's not a lot going on there right now, but go ahead and subscribe there, and that way you'll know when there is. I'll see you guys later. Bye.